The pump uses a screw coupler. Once it's tight on the snap ring, just to make sure that it pushes in if it's had a little pressure under there, you use a wrench and to turn that fitting so that it does seat itself fully into the hose. If you turn your lift on and you get everything going and nothing, nothing's moving, chances are that coupler didn't, didn't get tight enough, so get a, get a wrench and tighten that up. Uh, once it's together, you can turn these valves all the way open, or the same if you're unhooking the pump, you would close them all the way before you unscrewed it. On the inside, here's another valve on the pump, which is closed all the way. Open that about a turn and a half, and then once you start running your lift, um, you'll run it all the way up and down, leave it sit for a few minutes to work that air out of the system. Once your boat is on the lift, if it doesn't, if the lift goes down steadily, you can open that valve a little more to allow it to go down a little faster. Um, but if there is any bounce to the lift, then you need to turn that valve in, which will slow the pressure down coming into the pump.